Bro, were you surprised Draymond wasn't suspended? Was suspended? What? Welcome back everybody to Draft Nights. It's your boy Freddy and we have another video for you today. This is about Draymond Green not getting suspended from the NBA or the Warriors for punching Jordan Poole in the face. Are you kidding me? Let's get into it. Alright guys, to recap, this is what happened. Now this is Draymond right here. If you can't see, this is Jordan Poole, okay? Just make sure. Everybody knows, everybody's on the same page. All right. I tried to do the play-by-play -play commentary, but that was just too fast. All right, let's see this again. Okay, let's see this again. Draymond Green walking up to Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole pushes Draymond off of him before getting it all in his face, right? And then, bam! Good night, sir. Good night, I do declare. Good night, sir. Draymond Green punches Jordan Poole in the face. Let's see it one more time. Push, bam! Go to sleep. All right, now let's see what the good folks on First Things First with Chris Boussard, Kevin Wilds, and Nick Wright. What they have to say. Bro, were you surprised Draymond wasn't suspended? Surprised? No. I am hella surprised. You just you just punched on live. Not, not even, it wasn't even live, but it was recording, but it is out in the universe now. You was captured on video assaulting, okay, a co-worker. This is no bueno, sir. No bueno. I'm not surprised because to me, this was a simple, uh, yeah, you're getting suspended for that. Mm -hmm. And it took them so long that I start figuring, well, what's the delay? Why, what, why so much deliberation? And so I'm not surprised that they came to this conclusion. I will say this, it's the wrong decision. A hundred percent of the wrong decision. Bro, you're making that NBA look bad, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. What makes everything worse, okay, is that it's captured on, you know what I'm saying, video. That's what makes everything worse. Every, anything captured on video, is for, well, it makes stuff worse. Because they could have said anything. You know what I'm saying? The Warriors could have said anything. Draymond, the, the team, everybody's on the same page. Like, hey, listen, there was just a scuffle between Jordan Poole and, and, and Draymond Green. Nobody has to know that Draymond Green punched him in the face. No one has to, bring, no, no one has to uh, say that, you know, Jordan Poole went to sleep. You know, he went, he went to bed by nighttime. You feel me after one punch, but no one has to say that. Say that. But the fact that the video well, is out there now, and TMZ owns it, it makes everything look worse. And not wrong because it's gonna hurt the team or it's gonna ruin the season. I'm not saying that. It. We don't know if it's gonna hurt the team. We don't know if it's gonna hurt the team yet because. Um, you know, right now we just know for sure that both these players can't play together. They can't be on the same court together. One got to come off the bench and one got to start. They got to, um, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to play together because uh, that dynamic is not going to work. If I was if I was Jordan Poole, I would never pass the ball to Draymond. Never. Not even if he's wide open. Not even if he's wide open. Even if I'm getting a double team and I see Draymond is open, I want to pass the ball to him. I'll, I'll risk the turnover because I'm just not going to deal with him. I'm not going to work with him. I'm not. I wouldn't be able to do nothing. 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 I want to. I wouldn't want to give him any type of anything. It's wrong because it's important that the punishment fits the not crime but infraction. 
This This was was a crime. crime. This This was was assault. An assault assault in the the workplace. workplace. Can Can Jordan Poole actually like sue Draymond, the the NBA, and the Warriors? I wonder. This is interesting. Sure. All right. He essentially sucker punched a teammate. Essentially. Was it a sucker punch though? I don't know if it was a sucker punch. I know it was a definitely a punch. Definitely a punch. Actually, it wasn't quite a sucker punch. You can get to a sucker punch where the guy's looking at you. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's not. Nobody's expecting that to happen. Yep. And you just give him a a fine. So I'm I'm disappointed in the Warriors because of that. It's the wrong decision. But I'm I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm the. I'm surprised at Steve Kerr's press conference there because it seemed pretty incongruous to me. This is the most serious crisis we've ever had. See you in two days, buddy. <laughs> Yo, the facts, bro. The facts. Like, like the, way, the fact that he's just getting away with it, like, no punishment at all. It's, it's wild to me. Uh, we'll be back for the final preseason game, and no worries, you'll get your reps in by ring night. What? What? Like, again, I'm not trying to uh, be patronizing and comparing Draymond to a kid, but like in parenting, it would be like telling your child, like, I've ne- this is the most disappointed I've ever been. No TV for the next two hours. <laughs> this is wild, bro. Seriously wild. By the way, rain night is um, the day where it's opening night for the NBA, right? And the team that won the championship the year before, right, which was the Warriors, right? Um, they get to start the season, right? Not just not preseason. I'm not talking about preseason. We're talking about the season where every like every game counts in X, Y, and Z, right? They get to start the season with the home game, and right before the game, um, you know, while the while the team, every, all the teammates are there, and all the crowd is there in X, Y, and Z, they do the ring celebration where where it's. Um, the entire team, the entire organization, even the coaching and everything like that, everybody gets their uh, championship ring. That's ring night. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought things were going to be a lot worse than that, right, Pops. Right, and so that right. part seems odd. And the Warriors, they, they, the fact that they tried to get out in front of this seemingly before they knew the video was going to leak, mm-hmm. to me signaled they were going to take it seriously. Mm. They were actually priming the pump, so to speak, so the media is not shocked when Draymond is suspended. And then maybe it's because it's ring night. Maybe it's because they don't want him to miss that. And that if they... Yeah, like... Should he miss ring night? Because he punched the co-worker in the face? Should, I, I'm asking you. You know what I'm saying? Leave your comments down below. Also, like and share if you like the video. Leave your comments down, down below. Should Draymond miss ring night because of the assault? This is clearly assault, bro. Clearly assault. Um, on Jordan Poole. You tell me. He hadn't won the championship and it wasn't ring night or if ring night was later in the year, which wouldn't happen, obviously, maybe he'd be suspended. But Here's I, it quickly yes. with the, because sure. you're right, a lot of people are saying, oh, ring night, they didn't want to miss. I get, you know what, though? You're, this is not the league mandating a suspension. This is the team. Theoretically, people might laugh. You could suspend the suspension for ring night. He could go to ring night, not play. No, but he needs to be suspended. Maybe you could have started, maybe from the day it happened, you could have said two weeks from this day on and he still would have been there for the regular season. But ring night is not a viable excuse. Push back on that. What would that do? If, 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 If he's gone for two weeks, let's say, do you think that's going to like heal the Warriors, like, what does it do? It Look, feels purely punitive. That but ends sometimes up I, the think that I don't think this is going to hurt the team. I think they're going to be able to overcome this. So this is- now, will it hurt the team? I don't really know. I really don't know. Will it hurt the team if Draymond is gone? Let's see Draymond's stats, right? Let's see Draymond's stats. Here we go. All right, Draymond's stats right here. 2021, last year, he was averaging seven and a half points with seven rebounds, seven assists, and one steal, one block. 
All right, so yeah, it's not the greatest, but it's all right. All right, 2020, seven points, seven rebounds, about about nine assists, 8.9, but it's a nine assists. Okay, I mean, it's single digits for the most part. What about 2019? 2019, he did eight points, six rebounds, six assists. Okay, 2018, let's get any better. Seven points, seven rebounds, around seven assists. Okay, 2018, let's get any better. Seven points, seven rebounds, around seven assists. Wait, has he ever had a double double? Like, no double doubles. Yeah, the most he ever got, like, he had 2016 was 10 points, 2015, 14 points. And 2014, 11 points. So he was averaging around double, you know what I'm saying? 10 points, 14 points, and and uh, 11 points in like three years. No, no, one, two, three, four years. For four years straight, he was averaging double digit points. Okay. Not averaging in those same four years, not averaging in any double digit rebounds, no double digit assists, no double digit steals. Okay, so how, what is this guy's salary? In 2017, he was making 16.4 million. All right. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Draymond Green contract breakdown. It says Draymond Green signed a four year, 966 million and Thirty three hundred and sixty two million dollar contract with the Warriors, including not it's fully guaranteed, fully guaranteed, four year, fully guaranteed, close to a hundred million dollar contract. An average <laughs> annual salary is twenty four million in twenty twenty two. Into 2023, is he will earn, or I guess this year he's gonna earn base salary of 25 million dollars, while carrying a cap hit of 25 million 800. Yeah, fully the same thing, and dead cap money is 20. Yeah, same shit. Jesus. So his entire salary is gonna be, is gonna carry a cap hit. And a dead cap hit. All right, so where was I? So a guy that's not even averaging double doubles is getting a hundred million dollar contract for four years, fully guaranteed. Who is this? Eight? So, um, if the Warriors, okay, want to pay a player over a hundred. And hundred million dollars for four years, fully guaranteed. Who can't average more than ten points a game, or ten rebounds a game, or ten assists a game, or ten steals a game, or ten blocks a game? That's their priority. They have a right to spend that money the way they feel. It's the right way. And yes, Draymond Green is a better basketball player than me, but amongst his peers, I don't know how many other players who don't average more than 10 points or 10 rebounds or 10 assists or 10 steals or 10 blocks have a $100 million contract. But that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like, share it. Help us out in any way you can. Give me a like. Let me know if you like what, what I'm making out here right now. And um, hope to see you guys next time. It's Friday from Draft Nights. Peace.